Stewart, which is called Ballard's Furniture Store. Uh -huh. uh, that's a mixed use. That's got apartments up on top of it oh, now, which it dear. didn't have before, yes. So you've so, got loft living here yes, in Fillmore. Yeah. And the people that live up there absolutely love it. They're downtown, close to shopping. They're next to the, the theater that we have. They're just, they're just really in love with living in those apartments. Well, it's an interesting mix, and I think this is what draws the tourist here, isn't it? That's exactly right. This and the train, and they, they kind of step back in time when they come to Fillmore. Okay, now I've hooked up with the head honcho. Teresa, you are the, what, you're the owner, the president, the CEO, the... Actually, I'm the owner and secretary treasurer. Ah, so okay. I handle the financial ends. Of the... Fillmore and Western Railway. Now, was there a Fillmore and Western Railway in history, or is this just a name that you all made up when you bought this railroad? Well, we picked the Fillmore and Western Railway because, um, we're in Fillmore, and we're in the West, and we're a railway. <laughs> so this is one that you just came up with. Let's let these fellas by. Come on through, fellas. The aisleways aren't that big, are no, they? No, they're not. They're very narrow. This car was built in 1922, so they weren't thinking of, you know, modern times with wider aisles. Where did you get all these old cars? Because these are beautiful old cars. This car particularly came from Texas. It was totally a disaster. It hadn't been anything done to it in, oh, no telling how many years. Uh, we've come in, redone all the seats, redone all, everything in this car is repainted and redone, and the light fixtures are original, though. Oh, wow. And the seats are original, except for the upholstery. Now, can we go on through sure. here and just see what's because there's another car. Oh, boy, this is great. This, this car was built in 1918. Uh -huh. This is uh, one of our older cars. And we have uh, walkover seats in here that we've reupholstered. Now, what do you mean? What did you call these? Walkover seats. Oh, you can switch the way you switch sit. You sit. So if you have a family of four, they can sit together, or if you just have twos or threes, they can, you know, go one direction. Okay, here come the boys back through. The kids like to walk up and down yes. the train, don't they? Yes, kids love to walk up and down the train, and actually adults do too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's walk up and down the train. Oh, boy, look what we got here. Oh, yeah, Hugh, this is a full-service dining car that we have on the train, and... Uh, come in here and have lunch we also do the dinner train food out of this car uh-huh and it's one of the few uh, still in service actual uh, dining car service so this is a real honest to goodness dining car yes it was it was in service on the railroad what's the history of it this is for their former southern pacific car so there might be people watching right now who at one time road on this when it was a southern oh, that's, pacific that's very possible that was back when the passenger trains were in their heyday and this this car was on one of those trains so it's uh, got a lot of heritage to it now as the conductor when you're on these trips do you get a lot of old time train stories do people want to talk to you and kind of tell their stories to you because they know you'll listen well sometimes they generally are more interested in the heritage of the line though Mm -hmm. So they ask the questions about what the line used to do and where, what, what it originate, originally did. And the, the local history. Yeah, the local history. And uh oh, we got a lady oh, backed up here. Let's let her get through. Boy, she's got an arm load. <laughs> oh yeah. So they're interested in the local history, the history right. of this line right. that served this area. Well, this line used to be the original Southern Pacific Main Line. Uh huh. Before they put the line through Santa Susana Pass. Oh, look, everybody's waving at the cars that are lined up for us. Boy, everybody loves to wave. Oh, yeah, yeah. And this has got to make you feel great because oh, there's, there is so much positive energy on board this train today. Oh, absolutely, yes. This, uh, the dining car is always a lot of fun. It's always full. Both trips, both coming and going, it's always full. It's the place to be. The food's excellent and uh, cooked right on board. This lady is going. There is a, a car with a 
young son and a father, and they have tracked us since the station in Fillmore, and at every station and stop. There they are. There they are. There they are. Hey! That's the seventh, the seventh, that's the seventh, seventh stop that they have been there. I'm sure it's a, a, a Sunday ritual for him. What a nice thing for a memory that his dad yeah. took this they little kid. They us every weekend. It's yeah. great. I yeah. love it. Yeah, we have a good time with them. There's several people that come out and chase the train. You know what? This train isn't moving that fast, is it? No, we go nice and slow so everybody can enjoy it. <laughs> How fast are we going? Probably about uh, 10 miles an hour. 10 miles an hour? Well, that's a nice leisurely pace. Yeah, everybody can see the scenery and, and enjoy themselves and take a break. Oh, we got... We got music going down here. Yeah, that's Steve Hill. He's our guitar player and banjo player and fiddle player. Oh, love. Good morning. Hey. How you doing? I'm doing well. Yeah, really? let's have a round of applause. That was pretty darn good. <laughs> well, thank you. What's the deal? You ride on the train and play and sing train songs. Yes, sir, I do. Are you from Texas? I'm I mean, Tennessee. Tennessee, okay. Yeah, we just, I go back from car to car playing uh, guitar, and then I play a little uh, violin fiddle uh -huh. later, and then I play some banjo, just going back and forth, trying to entertain the, the kids and the, the grown-up kids. Now, are you a grown-up kid? Is that the whole point? You know, I hadn't figured it out yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm somewhere in between there. <laughs> yeah, but he plays good music, doesn't he? Yeah, it's very good. <laughs> yeah, see, that's part of it too, I guess, isn't it? Oh, yeah, the music adds a lot, you know. So much of the the beginnings of the railway, you know, had music to it from uh, Gandy Dancers to uh, uh, just just songs of Jimmy Rogers, you know, who was a brakeman himself mm -hmm. on, the, on the train. And it uh, music plays a big part, so I, I kind of like to add my little bit in here you know well so. we'll let you play a little bit more it'll be good background music uh, while we talk to some more people what bet. are you gonna what are you gonna play for us uh that's a real good question how about rock island line that sounds good <laughs> that sounds good <laughs> well rock island line is mighty good rock island line is a road to ride yeah rock island line is mighty good road if you want to ride it, got to ride it like you find it. Get your ticket at the station for the Rock Island Line. Oh, now we're out. Oh, look at this. This is great. Nice to meet you. Boy, you're just smiling from ear to ear. Stand up and tell us about this train trip you're on. Well, our son loves trains. Anything with trains, he wants to go on it. Uh -huh. So he said he wanted to go today. We're here. Wow, what a beautiful way to spend a Sunday morning. Can't beat it. It's beautiful. And look at this. Look at this scenery we're looking through here. This is just this is my history. This is what the world used to look like before it got built up. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Makes you wish for the good old days, Absolutely. doesn't it? <laughs> and here they are. They're just smiling from ear to ear. Howdy. Hi. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Boy, you all look like you're in heaven right this now. This is heaven. This is heaven. This we found California gold. Oh, wait a minute. Here's Highway 126. Here, here's everybody. Oh, yeah. Hey. That car right there, they follow us almost every weekend. They go to almost every crossing and wave at us. So there's some really hardcore train fans up and down the... Yeah, and if you keep your eye open, you'll see him at the rest of the stops. <laughs> or crossings. This is great. This is so much fun. Yeah, we do. We have a great time. And, and I think all of us enjoy working here. It's a fun job. So we have a good time while we're doing it. Yeah. Boy, I don't want this to end. I don't know which, which side is the most beautiful. This over here with the high mountains and the citrus groves. Or looking out over here, this big, long, panoramic view that you looks like you can just see forever. Yeah. And we found out that this is all called Heritage Valley. That's right. Santa Clara River Heritage Valley. And we're awful proud of it. Y'all having fun? Yeah, Very great. great fun. Yes. Beautiful day. And, Beautiful day. Nice and I'm glad I came here. I used to live here 40, 50 years ago. And then there was magic. California was magical. 
And I can I relive it again because this is how I remember California. Well, you know what? It probably hasn't changed out here that much. No, it hasn't. Well, we were more in the uh, Ontario, Cucamonga, uh, Claremont area. That used to be all orange groves. Yeah. And it was beautiful. And now this is again. <laughs> I almost had given up. I thought that California has lost its charm, but it it's still here. Well, welcome back. Well, <laughs> I'm glad to be back. <laughs> This thing all started, if you'll remember, it was drizzly and rainy in L.A. yesterday morning. We started out on the 5 freeway and got in a traffic jam and got all flustered and frustrated and stressed out. But here we are in Heritage Valley, this wonderful part of Southern California. We've spent the last two days in Piru and Fillmore and riding through this beautiful countryside. This is just about as beautiful as it gets. We've had a wonderful two days. We've seen a lot of beautiful and historic sites. More importantly, we've met a lot of wonderful people, some of whom are gonna remain our friends for a long time. This has been a wonderful road trip, and I hope you've had as much fun as we have. See you next time. Look at this, we're just gonna end with this view right here. This is our California. This is just about as beautiful as it gets. Well, the Rock Island Line is mighty good road. The Rock Island Line is a road to ride. Yeah, the Rock Island Line is mighty good road. If you want to ride it, gotta ride it like you find it. Get your ticket at the station for the Rock Island Line. Well, it's cloudy in the west and it looked like rain. I thought me a ticket on the railroad train. Pour on the water and shovel on the coal and hang it out the window watching drivers roll. The Rock Island Line is a mighty good road. The Rock Island Line is a road to ride. The Rock Island Line is a mighty good road. If you want to ride it, gotta ride it like you find it. Get your ticket at the station for the Rock Island Line. The 745 was always late. It arrived today at a quarter to late. Conductor hollered when they chewed his name. Well, we're right on time, but this is yesterday's train. The Rock Island Line is a mighty good road. The Rock Island Line is a road to ride. The Rock Island Line is a mighty good road. If you want to ride it, got to ride it like a fine. Get your ticket at the station for the Rock Island Line. If you want to ride it, got to ride it like a fine. Get your ticket at the station for the Rock Island Line. Road Trip with Huell Hauser was made possible by the Automobile Club of Southern California and the AAA Travel Agency. We've been meeting members' travel, automotive, insurance, and financial needs since 1900.